Coach, your thoughts after the first 90 minutes in leg one here? Exciting game. Exciting game for our traveling fans. Exciting games for the home fans. Uh, you know, uh, obviously it wasn't the result that we wanted. But, you know, at the end of the day, we got a road goal. So that always helps. That's something to put in your pocket for later. But we understand that we have to win the game on Thursday. So those are the facts. Again, um, I thought the team put everything into it. You know, you could almost say, you could almost say, you know, they put a lot into it in the second half. I thought we were we were in control of large parts of that second half. We created some chances, you know, almost to a fault. I mean, we could have just stayed at 2-1 and said, okay, let's go home 2-1. But I thought we we did a good job trying to get that second goal. And like I said, we were close on a couple occasions. Can you talk about Marshall and Roldan and, and how they're yeah. faring? Yeah, yeah. It's not a ligament tear for Chad. He's a tough kid. He'll be back. Um, Christian had a right hip flexor on the penalty. Um, that's where it came from. Um, but he'll be fine too. Yeah, so we'll just assess him when we get into Seattle. Uh, but, you know, I'll update you guys then. It was a team talk at halftime where their adjustments made. Things seemed to slow down a bit. Yeah, we knew they were going to come out and put a lot of energy in the game. So we discussed more possession. Um, you know, I thought they're, they're, they had some guys putting the long diagonal balls to change the point of attack. I thought it was effective for them. You know, obviously, you know, the, the, the two goals came from, I, I felt, individual plays that we could have done a little better on. But, you know, I've got to give them some credit. And we made some just adjustments in our mentality and how we established possession in their half of the field. And like I said, I thought it worked because we were able to establish, you know, good possession in their half for some considerable time in the second half. I can't imagine you thought you were you went into this game thinking you were going to have to make a sub with Christian, but uh, what did go into the the thinking of who to bring in? A lot. I mean, Harry wasn't quite 90 minute fit. I mean, he's just coming back, and Walla was an issue, was a choice for sure. Um, that one was just based on a little more experience. You know, I think Whalen has played many many more MLS games, so we decided that. But we talked everything through. I mean, we talked about. You know, Delam, everybody that was on the bench, Bruin, four four two, changing the the lineup. We discussed all of that. Were you happy with, sh with sh what Ship gave you in the six minutes or so? Yeah, came on. You know, laid that ball into Victor. I got to watch the tape. I don't know if Victor could have taken one extra touch or whatever, but you know, Harry's Harry's a good player. Finds those little pockets of space and helped us uh, keep possession in that last little bit. Christian was banged up, but it seemed like you guys kind of had a conversation about him coming off right away. He goes back out, and then he has to come out. Um, what was sort of that conversation like, um, and how is how is he able Just to? If he could continue, I mean, you got to give uh, you know the players in a playoff game. There's adrenaline. They had, they had, you know tried to do whatever they could to to keep him on the field. Um, that's just basically again testament to Christian not wanting to come off the field, you know. But in the end, he couldn't continue. How big of a psychological blow is it to lose an important guy like that and then have another injury to another key player like Marshall, both in the first half? Well, that's why you have a big roster, a roster full of good players. Ramon came on and did a good job. Whalen came on and did a good job. I mean, they were steady. So it's, it's tough to lose two of your starters, but we will continue. When, when you voted Whalen, did you plan out or sub him out right before the game was over again? Sub him in, sub him out? That's a tough one. Whalen and I are going to talk about that because no player ever wants to do that. But look, Whalen wasn't 90 minute fit either. And so sometimes the team comes first. I could have taken Victor off, could have taken another player off, but that was my choice. And Whalen is a good team guy. And I will definitely settle that with him. No issues there. Your thoughts on Roman's performance? He comes in and got yeah. physical immediately. Uh, yeah, I, good. It's fine. That's the benefit of having three starting level center backs on your squad. How do you feel the team reacted to losing both uh, Roldan, Christian, and Chad early in the first half? Fine. I mean, we didn't give up any goals in the second half. So, you know, uh, look, it was a little dysfunctional when they came off, but, you know, we, we gutted through it. Moving forward, your thoughts and your conversation with the team going home with that away goal in your pocket? Yeah, just look, we lay out the realities. I mean, we have to win. 
but we can now win one nothing, two nothing. You know that 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 little bit is in our favor. But we have to go out to, in Seattle and 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 score a goal and and try and win the game. Same as we died down here. These games are always tough. You know, every game this year was settled by one goal. So hopefully we'll have the one goal on our side up in Seattle. What improvements do you want to see from the players in the second leg? I'd have to watch a film just to make sure. Uh, but my initial thoughts are just, you know, when we created our chances that we can be clinical. Um, I thought we got the balance of the possession right in the second half, so continue with that. And then just making sure we're solid defensively because obviously Blanco and Valeri, they, you know, they showed their quality again. So we just have to make sure we fine tune things defensively as well. Was there anything defensively that Portland did that you weren't expecting that surprised no. you at all? No. no. Pretty much Seattle Portland game.